workshop six is about geometry and context and it's about taking boring old theorems and trying to show them in practical applications. It's also about exploring proof and making connections across the different strands. The new syllabus and the new exams are one part of Project Maths but uh, the main message of it I suppose will be to change the habits in the classroom and the way students learn. So today's workshop models a sort of um, ideas whereby the students or the teachers in today's workshop are presented with ideas and they go and discover learning outcomes themselves. You're an archaeologist, you've dug up a, a remnant or a shard or something like that of an old soup bowl or whatever it is and your job is to find the radius and then hence the circumference of this circular bowl. Of course. We looked at inductive logic where the teachers today they um, joined dots on circles, came up with count of the regions, made a generalisation and it was shown to be wrong. So we're trying to sell the notion there that there's a need for rigorous proof in maths. And we're also going to look at student activities where they find theorems, but they find them without being told. They find that they write the theorem in their own words after exploring an activity. Join everyone. So this is four should have one, two, three. Join them. And this one should have one, two, three, and then you're finished. So every point joins every other point. What I find like, great about the workshops is that it's all about um, the kids have so have been so used to that. There's a way to if you give a question, there's you follow step one, two, three, four, five, and there's your answer, and you're to learn to do your steps one, two, three, four, five, and you get your answer. Whereas with Project Maths, I throw a problem at them and say, no, you go solve that. And the temptation with them all still is to just stand back and say, I can't do it. What's the answer? And I keep trying to say to them, well, you've to find the answer. <laughs> I think, I think teachers are enjoying it. I think they're learning for the first time a different way than they've been teaching themselves or they were taught themselves. It's a, it's a challenge to them. In a different climate, they're, they're buying into it. They're, they're positively disposed to the, to the approaches. And in the long run, actually, you know, it, it should create classrooms where students are less dependent upon the teacher and more independent learning goes on. You have two, oh. way, you have two ways done there, haven't you? Because you could do... No, but I don't know where the centre is. On the centre is where the two lines meet. That's grand. Yeah. Well, we just, you've, mixed, you've mixed two ideas there, though. Two by sectors. OK. Like, you, you could do one tangent and do another tangent. Oh, OK. I had to do another tangent. OK, I take, yeah. And, uh, you, I you could do one chord yeah, and another chord. Yeah, right, so you've yeah, mixed the two. Okay, yeah. Now, can you do it by trigonometry? You see, that's what I was trying to say. With the well, 90 okay. degrees, remember? Yeah. Even with an arc, you can still get a 90 degree angle. And minus one seven. Because the second floor will have only a seven. Ten minus one seven. The people who get stuck into it, people um, who give it a go, I found it more interesting and found it different. And the ones, some people still traditionally have stood back from it a bit. But those who have gone for it find it a nicer way of teaching maths. You can go to the course, but you're still aware is the, there is an exam at the end of this. And is the, are you getting through the course properly or not? You have to draw any chord. Bisect the chord, cut the chord in half, which means both of those are the same size. If we draw the perpendicular bisector, the centre must be on the perpendicular bisector. We draw a second chord. Get the midpoint or bisect it, get the perpendicular bisector, where the two perpendicular bisectors meet must be the centre. It's very different. It's, it's, very, it's very different for them. It's very difficult for them because the exam up until now has been highly proceduralised and have been very formal. Now it's going to be much looser. So the patterns that I would have, you know, more than the other teachers that were there today that I would have used in the classroom won't work for the future exams because the exams won't be predictable. So coming to these workshops is a huge challenge for them, but I think it's a huge benefit for them because they can see the connections right across the syllabus and maybe see connections to areas that they never get to teach.